Hi all, welcome to my YouTube channel Testing Instinct. In this video, I will be discussing about filter with JSON path option in Bruno. I am going straight into the demo. For this demo, I am using the request get favorite airports from authorization collection. I am going to hit this request. You can see one icon here. The tooltip is filter with JSON path. So if you click on this, you can apply the JSON path filter in this text box and you can get the desired value from this JSON response. In real time, by API testing, we might need to check some desired values is coming in the JSON response or not. So in that case, we can apply the JSON path filter directly here and get the desired result. First, I am going to show some examples. So to get the complete airport details, uh, we can use this particular expression. So this is a JSON path. The dollar symbol denotes the complete JSON response. If you want to get the details of data object, you have to use the dot notation followed by the JSON key. So we have got the complete details of the airport. Now I am going to get the airport names. So if I remove this expression, you can see that there are some names coming as airports. This is one, this is another. So these are the two airport names. To get that, uh, we can use the JSON path expression. Just use the syntax like this. First use the dollar symbol. They have to move to data. Then from data, we have to move to the attributes object. So there is a array inside this one. So you have to use the array concept here. So this is a star operator is needed to get the uh, both names of that airport. So you have to use the star operator here. After that. You have to go to the attributes object. So I can use a dot operator followed by the key. Now you have to go to the name attributes dot airport dot name. So this is the JSON path expression in order to get the airport name. So this is one example. Now uh, I will be copy pasting. Uh, the JSON path filter from the node part. So I have shown one example. So I will be sharing the complete JSON path filter expression in the video description so that everyone can play around with it. Here you can see an equivalent expression to this above expression. Here we are using double dots. So this is for deep navigation. We, you, we can directly jump to the required key. So this will also give the same result. So we have got the same uh, result as. Uh, earlier. Now we are going to get individual airport name. To do that, uh, you can use this particular expression. This is for getting the first airport name. This is for getting the second airport name. Now I am going to use uh, this particular expression. This is equivalent actually. Only thing is we are using double dots for deep navigation. This is fourth index. This first index. So we have got the same result as earlier. Now I am going to get the value of not. So if you check the response, you can see there is a not JSON key. Its value is null. There are actually two not keys, and its value is null. We are going to get that particular value. To do that, you can use this expression. So you have got the array with the values null. Now I am going to use this particular expression. This is equivalent actually. Here we are not using the star operator. We are just using the JSON path filter with deep navigation. This is same. It will be getting the same result as earlier. Now I am going to get the node value of airports. 
if you check the response you can see this value coming to get that uh, you can use this one so this is the json path filter you can use so you have got the null value this is the first index now we are going to the second index so same value you have received now this is uh, json path filter with the deep navigation it is equivalent to the above used uh, expressions so you have got the same value if you give the index as one we will be getting the same value again now i am going to get the first value i will show the response again so this is the complete response you can see there is a first json key is coming in the response we are trying to get the value of that one to do that you can use question dollar things dot first another equivalent expression is with the double dot notation which is a deep navigation so this will also give the same value uh, this is the use of uh, json bath filter in bruno using this one uh, we can get the desired value from the complete json response so i hope that this session was very useful for everyone if you find this video helpful please consider subscribing the channel please like share and comment on the video thanks for watching and keep learning